blockchain technology has so many insane possibilities for the future. And all these possibilities have created a bright opportunity to change a lot of people's lives by actually working in the blockchain industry. It's one of the best ways for people to make life-changing money in crypto without buying cryptocurrency. It's changed my life in a lot of ways, and I think it has the power to change a lot of other people's too. And so and that's what I want to talk about in this video is exactly how it's impacted me, how I've seen it impact other people, and what you can learn from this and what's potentially here if you decide to go down this path. I'm gonna talk about that as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe to this channel. And if you wanna learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. Let's talk about how learning blockchain has changed my life, and how I think it's gonna change a lot of other lives as well and I've already seen that happen. So a little bit about my background in case you're brand new to the channel. I'm a self-taught programmer. I didn't go to school for computer science. Uh, you know, I didn't go to a coding boot camp. In fact, I got rejected from coding boot camp. And so I had to learn the hard way, you know, completely on my own. But when I broke into blockchain, you know, I actually was already a uh, professional programmer. Okay, I, I wanna make that very clear. So, you know, I was a self-taught programmer. I was just a web developer before, but then I actually made the transition into blockchain. And I want to talk about that transition because there's really two different types of people who are likely watching this video. Either people who are already developers who want to transition into blockchain uh, or people who aren't developers yet who are maybe thinking about this. So the first thing I want to talk about is how that transition from regular developer, whatever it is, over to blockchain, what that transition was like and how that changed. All right, so the, probably the biggest thing that changed between web development and blockchain development was the compensation. So basically, um, you know, the average salary for a blockchain developer is $154,000 per year uh, in the United States per ZipRecruiter.com. Okay, there's other sources out there. What I'm trying to illustrate here is the difference between that on average and something like web developer, which is $75,000 per year on average, okay? And the data, you know, changes uh, based on how that salary distribution plays out. Um, but no matter how you slice it, there's a bigger upside potential in earnings for blockchain based on web development at the center or the average. So, you know, blockchain is one of the highest paying skills in tech. And that was one of the biggest things that changed for me when I when I changed fields here. And specifically in my situation, you know, I was a getting into blockchain as a freelancer. OK, so one of the things that really helped me do was, I mean, I got into blockchain in 2017. And so when I started freelancing, I mean, there's hardly anybody really who had the skills. And what that allowed me to do was create, you know, high ticket offers where you could charge a lot of money for a really small amount of work because, you know, over time you could build up systems to where you could provide value to the client, you know, at a way that was, you know, really hard to do if you were a web developer because you'd have all these people with the same opportunity, right? But in blockchain, there's still a relatively small number of people. So you could, you could craft these high ticket offers, I was able to do really high paying freelance work that didn't take me much calendar time uh, to complete or number of hours to complete. All right, so that's probably the biggest aspect of life change that occurred from going from web development to software development as an experienced program already. There's lots of things that change, but in terms of a life change, that's that was it. All right, so let's talk about new programmers. So people who have never coded before or maybe never had a programming job before who want to get into this. Some people say, hey, can I learn blockchain as my first language? Absolutely, you can. So what would what could you possibly expect in terms of a life change? So this is that zero to one moment that could really unlock a huge lifestyle change for a lot of people, depending on where you're starting from. Like I said, at the top of this video, uh, you know, learning blockchain is one of the best ways for people to get a life changing outcome from participating in the crypto space without having to buy cryptocurrency. You have more control over that process of learning skills and then actually entering in the marketplace to earn, you know, a, a life changing amount of money that way. So, of course, high income, just like I was talking about with the other transition, is similar, but you, you're you potentially going to unlock lots of other benefits um, that other developers might take for granted that they already have, like the ability to work 100% remote, okay, like from wherever you want, sometimes whenever you want, okay. So, uh, I know the world has gotten more remote friendly in general over the past you know, couple of years, but some people are still locked into bad commutes, and there's a high likelihood that you could completely you know, get rid of that if you got into blockchain. So another thing is that you're going to be working something incredibly interesting, potentially, compared to what you work on now. Uh, it's actually the high likelihood that you're going to be more interested in what's going on with blockchain compared to what you're already doing because there's so much new stuff and you can kind of pick where you want to go. Do you want to be in gaming and DeFi and NFTs and all this other stuff, metaverse? There's lots of reasons people hate their job now. Some people hate it because it doesn't pay enough or because they don't have purpose. 
uh, or it's just boring and you're going to you can potentially fix all those problems by being in the blockchain industry. And another huge thing is that uh, once you're actually working in the industry, you're going to have a huge insider advantage in this space. So, you know, like I said, breaking in the blockchain industry is one of the best ways to make a life change uh, with crypto. I don't think investing in cryptocurrency is bad by interest imagination. If you watch my other videos, you know, I do it. I help other people do it. OK, uh, but I'm what I'm saying is you shouldn't count that for a life change. OK, but but actually making a change in your career could potentially be a life change, depending on where you're coming from. But you can add this layer on top of it. It's kind of the icing on the cake because when you actually live inside the industry, you have a huge insider advantage. Now, I don't mean like illegal insider trading, but you will have a significant edge on being two steps ahead in the space. And so that's what I want to talk about was a life change for me that I'll break those things down because of course you can earn you know more money in your job, but you can also earn more money in other ways like this. So that's the next thing I want to talk about is that you know, my life changed because I was able to navigate the crypto space way better, you know, as a developer. Okay, so I was already a developer before, so it wasn't like I was in the crypto space and then became a developer. But if you are a developer and then you enter into crypto, you're going to be much more discerning. So why is that important? So, you know, if you look at a website like coinmarketcap.com, coingecko.com, there's so many cryptocurrencies on there. A lot of them, you know, are, are not going to be necessarily worth anything long term. And so how do you pick the ones that have a higher chance of success long term? Well, part of that is trying to vet like what's a viable project and what's not. Now, I know this is not the easiest thing on the face of plan to do. If it was just easy, everybody would do it. Um, and there's no silver bullet to doing this. But one thing you can do is actually develop the technical discernment to understand what's possible with the technology now versus what's likely to happen in the future. Because all these projects are going to come out with roadmaps, say, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Sometimes they're just completely making stuff up that's never going to happen. And if you have technical skills and go in and build technology, you're going to be able to understand what's completely detached from reality and what's actually a more likely bet. And that's what's helped me out a lot. It's also going to just help you make better judgment calls on what you can trust in long term in the crypto space or what has the higher chance of success. That's one of the reasons I'm so uh, committed to the Ethereum ecosystem, among other things. Uh, I've talked about it a lot in that video pinned to my YouTube homepage. You can go find it, how to become a blockchain developer in 2022. Um, there's lots of reasons I stick with the Ethereum ecosystem, but one of them is because that's got one of the strongest likelihood for success over the long term. I know people say Ethereum is too slow, it's too expensive to use. Go check out that video for more explanation on why I think that. In addition, a much more friendly landscape for beginners to get involved. All right, so another way that blockchain or learning it, you know, changed my life and then, you know, having that skill getting into crypto is actually being a user of blockchain technology. You become way more advanced at that. And that can actually help you not only make more money, but keep the money that you have and not make horrible mistakes that could cause you to lose all your money. <laughs> okay, so I'll talk about that. So part of it is, uh, when you're using the blockchain, I mean, you have to store cryptocurrency in the first place. So uh, I can't count how many times I see things on Twitter where people get their MetaMask account hacked or they are storing funds in some really insecure way and then they lose their funds. OK, or maybe they approve some transaction on a website or they get into a smart contract. That's not what they thought it was. Um, so being a developer will help you fix all this stuff, assuming that you're not just <laughs> assuming that you uh, intend to exercise caution and, and do things very carefully uh, in the future, rather than just, you know, aping into everything without doing any due diligence, having technical skills will help you do that. So, you know, it'll help you understand, like, how to not lose your cryptocurrency, how to look at a smart contract before you decide to use it. OK, when a new project hits the scene and everybody's trying to get inside of it, is there potentially a vulnerability that you could just quickly spot easily? I know a deep security audit is hard to do. But sometimes you can just look at a smart contract and be like, hey, I'm not touching this thing with a 10 foot pole. I've done this all the time. And most of the time, you know, passing on those opportunities is better because it's better to survive and live to see another day than lose everything, you know, in one uh, accident. All right. I can't count the number of times I see people who go like mint a new F NFT and they, you know, approved uh, their NFTs out of their wallet. To, to something else instead of actually minting it and then boom, like all their NFTs are gone out of their wallet. If you are a blockchain developer and you understand that stuff, it can help you stay safe. All right, so the last thing that, you know, learning blockchain, how it's changed my life in particular is like outside of work, now that blockchain has become, you know, a huge cultural phenomenon, like you are now the resident expert in many social situations. Okay. So, I mean, this is not something I necessarily care about that much. Honestly, when I'm not like working, I'd rather just spend time with people and talk about other stuff. But for people that care about this, you know, it can open doors. All right. So, 
you know, anytime people find out that that's what you do, I mean, every time it happens to me, people are always like, hey, what about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? I'm inevitably having a conversation for usually like 20, 30 minutes about that specific topic. And, you know, they're super excited to learn about that and to talk to somebody who actually understands the space and can help them figure it out. (laughs) Now, you know, fair morning, your phone might be blowing up with text messages from people uh, all the time about, you know, hey, should I buy this coin? Should I buy that coin? And you may not know the answer to that question, but that's definitely a byproduct of, um, you know, actually learning these skills, okay, which can be used to an advantage. All right, so that's a summary of basically how learning blockchain has changed my life, how I've seen it change other people's lives who I've helped break into this industry, and then how, you know, I think it's going to change a lot of other people's lives as well, potentially you if you're watching this video, you know, if you follow through and take action um, and actually come out on this other side, a working blockchain developer, okay? You know, in summary, basically, you know, the, the the overwhelming benefit for almost everybody is basically making a life-changing amount of money by transitioning into the field. Whether you're a developer already, getting that significant, you know, income boost, or maybe you like weren't a developer yet, and then you unlock this earning potential that's beyond what you could have ever possibly imagined at your previous job. And if you did that, maybe you have all these other lifestyle, you know, benefits like remote work, doing something really interesting. And then you can multiply a lot of those gains with other stuff like, you know, being on the inside track for what's happening inside of crypto, being able to more intelligently navigate the investment landscape, being able to do due diligence on chains so that you don't get scammed out of your money. And then on top of that, you know, being able to actually walk into social situations and provide value in those scenarios as well to other people who don't understand this technology. So if all those benefits sound good to you, then what's the next step? So if you want to learn more about the landscape of learning blockchain, you know, from start to finish, no matter where you're starting from, if you're a new programmer or you're a developer already, definitely go check out my YouTube homepage, the pinned video there. I just released it for 2022, how to become a blockchain developer in 2022. I cover everything from start to finish. We know what is blockchain, how do you break in the industry, uh, actually step-by-step plan that you can follow to a T, along with lots of frequently asked questions that I get all the time, like, can I learn blockchain first? Do we learn a bunch of other programming languages before I ever learn blockchain, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And so the best way to get started learning today, of course, is learn by doing, actually just learn tutorials and learn the coding languages as you go. So how can you do that? You go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They like you to me courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, maybe you want to take a master's shortcut entirely, I should become a blockchain master step-by-step step to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. That's all I've got for today. You know, like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.